Uh, hello viewers and welcome to my channel. The topic is what is uh, uh, vulva cancer. Uh, but before starting I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. But the first question is what is vulva cancer? You know, you know cancer occurs when the abnormal uh, tissue cells reproduce uncontrollably you know, and the cancer can develop anywhere in the body and the symptoms and the treatment depend on the type of the cancer and its location. You know. And there are various types of the cancer that can affect the female reproductive organs, including the vulva cancer. You know. Now, the vulva cancer uh, is a cancer of the two vulva, uh, are a female external genitals, you know. And the vulva includes the inner and the outer lips of the vagina, and clitoris and opening of the vagina, which is called the uh, introitus, you know. And the glands near the vagina opening are uh, also part of the vulva, you know. So, the vulva cancer typically affects the outer lips of the vagina. And, but other parts of the vulva may also be affected, especially as the cancer enlarges, you know. Now, this type of cancer usually develops slowly and uh, it often begins as vulvar, uh, uh, like uh, intraepithelial neoplasia, you know, and uh, which occurs when the healthy skin cells around the vulva undergo abnormal changes without treatment, the abnormal cells can turn into cancer cells, you know. Now, the, uh, uh, Next is what are the symptoms, you know. Uh, in its early stages, the vulvar cancer may not cause any symptoms. But when the symptoms occur, they can be like abnormal bleeding, itching in the area, you know, discolored patches of the skin, pain with the urination, pain and the tenderness in the vulvar area, and lump are uh, on the vulva, you know. So these are the common signs and the symptoms. And you should call your doctor right away if you notice any of these changes, you know, any of these symptoms. And the early detection is very important to plan a, a good treatment. Now, uh, although the exact cause of the vulvar cancer is not known, you know, and there are certain risk factors that can be associated with the um, vulvar cancer, you know, and they are, if you're 55 or over, you know, you're smoking, uh, having vulvar intraepithelial uh, neoplasia, you know, suffering from the autoimmune disorders like HIV and AIDS, you know, having hemopapillum virus infection, having a history of genital warts and having a skin condition that affect the vulva such as the lichen planus, you know. So then in that case you are at high risk of getting these kind of cancer, you know. You know, your doctor will perform a physical examination, closely examine the vulva, uh, uh, to review your medical history and ask you questions about the lifestyle, you know. And your doctor will likely uh, order a biopsy, you know. So what will happen that they will take a piece from that area, send to the lab to see under the microscope if these growths are cancerous, not cancerous, you know. And this involves taking the small samples of the tissue from the vulva, from the, for the cells, you know. And procedure may be done with the local anesthetic, uh, which will numb the area, and you will not feel pain while taking up that piece of uh, skin, you know. And if your biopsy results indicate vulva cancer, your doctor will refer you to a gynecologic oncologist, you know. So these are the uh, uh, doctors who deal with the uh, female-related uh, reproductive organ, male-related cancers, you know. And uh, they will review your history results and they will run the test, other tests, for advanced tests, you know, uh, to determine the stage of the cancer, you know, and then they will plan the strategy, treatment strategy, you know. You know, the staging helps your doctor to classify the severity of the cancer, you know, and this allows them to uh, create an effective treatment plan for you. So the factor used in staging include like the location of the primary tumor, the spread of the cancer to the nearby lymph nodes and the size and the number of the tumors, you know. And the stages of the vulvar cancer typically include zero to four, you know. And the higher the stage is, the greater the risk of severity, you know. The stage zero is uh, cancer refers to as the very early cancer that is confined to that local area, you know. And in stage one, the cancer uh, uh, only affects the vulva or uh, the surrounding area, but the premium um, perineum is the area uh, of the skin between the vaginal opening and the anus, you know. So it affects only in the stage 1 to the vulva and the uh, perineum, you know. In the stage 2, the cancer has spread from the vulva to the nearby structures such as the uh, lower portions of the urethra, vagina and anus, you know. And in stage 3, uh, where the cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes, you know. And it's, uh, then the stage 4 is divided into 4A and 4B, you know. Now, in the substate 4A, the cancer has spread more extensively to the lymph nodes and the upper portions of the urethra and vagina. And in other cases, the tumor has spread to the, uh, to the bladder, maybe to the rectum, maybe to the pelvic bones, and in stage 4B. 
cancer has spread to a distant also in the lymph nodes, you know. So this is extreme, so it's advanced stage, you know. And there are a number of tests and that help the doctor to determine a stage cancer and you wish to make the pelvic examination, CT scan, MRI and uh, cystoscopy you know, and the proctoscopy as well. So these are the two tests which can help your doctor to determine whether the cancer has spread to a bladder and a rectum. You know. Now, once diagnosed, then what are, once diagnosed and uh, determined the stage of the cancer, then what are the treatment options? Well, it could be laser therapy, it could be surgery, uh, and uh, maybe uh, like uh, chemotherapy and uh, radiation therapy, you know. And uh, it may be the combination of one or two or more treatment options, you know. Now, uh, in case of laser therapy, a laser therapy uses high intensity light to kill the cancer cells, you know. And uh, in case of surgery, uh, the surgery is the most common treatment uh, of the vulvar cancer, you know. And there are many different techniques or the strategies which are used to perform the surgery, you know. And the type of surgery to chosen will depend on the stage of the cancer and the overall health, you know. Number one is the local uh, excision, you know. So the local excision is. Uh, may be done uh, if the cancer hasn't spread to the distant organs, you know. So the procedure involves the removal of the affected area and the small amount of the normal tissue surrounding that area, you know, and the lymph nodes uh, may also be removed. Now, in case of vulvectomy, uh, during this procedure, your surgeon will either remove the entire vulva uh, during a uh, kind of uh, a radical vulvectomy or a portion of the vulva during the partial uh, uh, vectomy, you know, and uh, the next procedure is uh, pelvic accentuation. So in this case, it's reserved for the uh, advanced or the severe vulvar cancer, you know, and the pelvic uh, accentuation uh, may be performed and depending on where the cancer has spread. So your surgeon may remove the cervix or vagina or lower colon or blood or vulva, you know, uh, and maybe ovaries and the lymph nodes, you know. But it, it depends on the which organs is involved, you know. And if your blood or rectum and the colon are removed, your surgeon will create an opening called the stoma. So the function of the stoma is to that uh, it will uh, uh, it will be whole, you know, to get rid of uh, to pass the urine and stool leave your body you know now the radiation therapy and chemotherapy and other options where the uh, radiation uses the high energy radiation to shrink the tumors you know and kill the cancer cells you know and in case of chemotherapy uh, it's an aggressive form of chemical drugs that uh, help to slow down and stop the cancer cells from growing you know and it is uh, uh, performed uh, it's kind of preferred treatment options when the cancer has moved advanced and has spread to the other parts of the body you know and depending on the type uh, and the med uh, medication given, uh, you can take the medication orally or maybe it will be given to the uh, IV, you know, uh, and maybe in case of uh, topical treatment cells, well, uh, creams, you know, but again, it depends on the medicine and the general health of the patient and the state of the cancer. Now, the outlook, once you get the treatment, you will need to go through, go to your doctor regularly for the follow-up appointments, you know. And these appointments involve the exams to make sure your body is healing well, you know, uh, to monitor for the rightness of cancer and to check the side effects of the treatment, you know. And your long-term outlook depends on the stage of the cancer and the size of the tumor. And the survival rate is quite high when vulvar cancer is diagnosed and treated early, you know. And in fact, the a relative five-year survival rate is approximately 86% if the cancer is uh, classified as the stage one, you know. And this means that 86% of the people who are diagnosed with the stage 1 vulvar cancer live for at least 5 years after their cancer is diagnosed. So, however, once vulvar cancer is more advanced and classified as stage 4, the 5 years survival rate drops to 16%. You know. And it's important to note that survival rates are depending on the type of the uh, treatment used, the effectiveness of the treatment, the age and the general health. So these are the factors um, which uh, affect the prognosis. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Keep watching. Goodbye.